So for this project, we're going to start by drawing a large heart in the middle of your page. Then you will use a ruler, or as you can see, I am using just a piece of paper that's folded to make straight lines going up and down across the paper, and then go side to side across the paper. When you're finished drawing all of those lines, then you will trace them with marker. So this gives us a kind of checkerboard or a chessboard um, look, and it makes squares, many little squares or rectangles on the paper, which we will then color in two colors inside of the heart and two colors outside of the heart. So as I choose my colors, I want to make sure that the, I repeat the same colors over and over, and I always color a box and then go diagonally. That's how I can make sure I don't make any mistakes. So it'll be a really nice pattern if you start in one place inside the heart and color every diagonal box with one color stopping at the edge of the heart. As you can see, I'm almost finished with my blue now. This video, of course, is sped up. It is fast forwarded. Forward. <laughs> fast forwarded. So, of course, I want you to take your time and go slower. Because when I really did it, I was going slow also. So as you go, then you will see how nice this looks if you take your time and you follow that pattern. Only coloring inside of the heart first, and then you will color outside. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I made a mistake there. I colored that little tiny bit green, so I'm going to go ahead and color over that with red, and then I'm going to do that same diagonal pattern on the outside of the heart. Again, creating the checkerboard or chessboard kind of look. So in this video, I was going to do two colors for the outside of the heart, but it was taking me a while. So in the end, I decided just to leave the outside with red and leaving the other blocks white. Now, you will see here that I am going to make a mistake. Artists make mistakes. Oh, right there's my mistake. So I'm going to make it into a masterpiece just by folding that part so that you can't see it anymore. I'll fold the other side too so it matches. And then just finishing up. There you go. Very nice, huh? So I hope you enjoy this project. Take your time. You can use any colors that you want. Have fun!